What's up everyone? Uh, my name is Ricardo. I'm a youth soccer coach in Memphis, Tennessee. And I wanted to give a quick intro to the channel and answer the question, what is coach life? So there are four main reasons why I wanted to start this channel and the series of videos and see where it evolves from here. So number one is the passion of the game. Obviously, I love the game. I've been around it my entire life. It's about growing, giving a different perspective to youth soccer in America. So I want to try and do that. Number two, kind of a behind the scenes look at what it's like to be a soccer coach. There are lots of channels out there showing what it takes to become a professional player, um, you know, namely Become Elite and um, Sheldon Tweedy. Those guys put out great content. They show even nutritional, nutritional aspect of being an athlete and things like that. But nothing really out there what it's like just to be a soccer coach. Number three, and probably one of the more important things, is to share ideas with other coaches, players, um, and even parents. Uh, so I feel some coaches out there now have become so secretive about the training sessions that they do, uh, the formations that they play. So I wanted to kind of bring that back up to the surface and foster more conversations between coaches, uh, between coaches, players, and even parents, like I mentioned. So I'm by no means an expert. I'm not the end all be all, but I hope that maybe some of my ideas may help somebody. And in return, I hope to get some ideas back that might ultimately make me a better coach. Number four is exposure to players. So there are lots of players out there who don't have the means to get exposed. So by putting these channels or these videos out to the channel, I'm hoping to um, hopefully somebody watches these and says, you know, hey, gives one of the players an opportunity to, to play at a higher level. So those are main reasons. I hope you enjoy the videos. Take care. Let's go two on the outside because this ain't working. Hey.
So just a quick voiceover here for this last part. Um, there were a couple of goals that were missed off camera. The score is currently 3-2 to two for us in the second half. We scored with about 15 minutes left. And then this happens with about two minutes left in the game. 4-0 up and have them put their heads down. Rather than be 2-0 and then 2-1 and then now, hey, now we're struggling to defend. Because they're coming in with, you know, 15 shots. So, okay, I'm going to turn it over to you guys now. Anyway, I got a score, right? Uh -huh. And, uh, I mean, that's one positive I mean. Maybe I, I have some key passes. During the self-eval portion of the game download session, each player now goes through and they talk about one positive outcome personally in the game and then one negative and how they plan on fixing the negative. I think this gives a good introspective view of how they felt they performed in the game. Obviously, we have it on video, but I want to hear from them first uh, before we show them the video. One of the things that we failed to do during the game was defending from set pieces. Two of the goals they scored on us came from one a free kick outside of the box and then the other one came from across right around the corner flag. So I have set up four guys putting balls into the box, one in each corner and two outside of the box. So it's up to the defenders to mark zonally or man to man find the runs and pick up the runs and then get the ball out as quickly as effectively as possible. So I tend to tailor my training sessions based on the previous game's performance and what exactly we need to work on. So I'll let this roll for a couple of minutes and then we move into a conditioned game towards the end. <laughs> 